Trust is one of the most basic requirements in any kind of relationship, be it a friendship or romantic relationship or a family member for this reason in this video I will discuss 10 characteristics of people in whom you can never trust according to historical philosophy first of all to observe if a person fits into one of these characteristics that I will mention. Observation is necessary however this is relatively easy just analyze the person's speech and actions to get an idea of who they are and what their essence is therefore making this clear I will comment on each of these types of people and explain why you should not trust them before we start check your narcissists subscription to the channel watch until the end because at the end I have something special to deliver to you stay until the end let's go to the first type of person the narcissists when dealing with narcissistic people historical teachings remind us of the importance of not allowing others behavior to affect our inner peace practicing indifference towards their egocentric actions allows us to maintain our mental peace in the midst of their vanity think about it if a person is always talking about themselves and hardly cares about others they are unlikely to be someone you can trust they only have eyes for themselves and always put others needs in the background no matter who it is you cannot trust narcissistic people because they make their own image the most important thing in the world they don't want anyone to be better or equal to them they are the kind of people who will do anything to enhance their own image continuously and this compulsive act of desiring and admiring themselves is extremely dangerous because it's impossible to know what this person is capable of doing to maintain themselves typically these are people who make others take the blame for their mistakes therefore do not trust people who talk too much about themselves and only want to impose their opinions on others without listening to anyone because these are individuals who can harm you at any time to get what they want the gossip second type of person is the gossip stoicism also teaches us to deal with the gossip and feline words of people historians emphasize the need not to give power to others opinions about us if someone reveals secrets or shares information about another person it's highly likely that they will do the same to you talking about you and your life behind your back believe me it's almost certain that this kind of thing will happen when someone gossips it's not just a habit but an action done for pure pleasure so don't think that just because someone is your friend they won't tell your secrets to someone else don't make that mistake the only advantage you can get from a gossip is if you want information to spread in that case you just need to tell the gossip and they will do all the work for you the third type is the person who constantly irritates you when it comes to dealing with annoying or manipulative people stoicism offers us the practice of self-reflection instead of reacting emotionally we can stop and think about how our own perceptions and reactions influence the situation it's one thing when you're going through a complicated time in your life and easily lose patience with someone not because of the person but due to the daily stress you're under it's a completely different situation when you're calmer but constantly get irritated around a specific person if that person is capable of constantly irritating you. It's because they subtly provoke you by throwing ideas that confuse you and feed your doubts subtly little by little is small doses so you can't fully understand their emotional and psychological games believe me people who act like this do it for pure pleasure so be careful with subtle little games because if a person can irritate you all the time it's because they're poking you with gestures and words and you don't even realize it the fourth type is the indecisive ones regarding indecisive people stoicism encourages us to focus on what we can control our own decisions and actions it's easy to explain why these people are not trustworthy how can you trust someone who is always hesitating about which decision to make if they can't even set a course for their own lives how can you trust them they are also completely unpredictable because as you 
don't know exactly what their decisions will be since their own personality is not fully formed they are indecisive individuals because they don't have a strong enough personality to act and choose the path they want to follow to be direct on this point trusting an indecisive person is like trusting a child with a knife you don't know what they will do when you're not present the two-faced fifth type is the two-faced people in relation to two-faced people stoicism would advise caution instead of worrying about their actions we can focus on cultivating virtue in ourselves you've probably had an experience like this these are people who seemingly like you but spread rumors about you behind your back and this behavior extends to other people as well so don't be surprised when others speak ill of you one moment they're smiling and being friendly and the next moment they're talking badly about you what i recommend is that when you start noticing this kind of behavior it's better to get out of the relationship as quickly as possible don't miss the chance to master your emotions the sixth always involved in many problems tight people who are always involved in many problems historians encourage us to take responsibility for our decisions and emotions instead of blaming luck or circumstances these people live with problems and intrigues they say they have bad luck and for them life is just a punishment every day they claim that a new difficulty arises and each day seems to bring a new consequence the person is they're telling everyone that they don't know what's happening that everything is difficult and so on be courteous of this type of person there's nothing wrong with being suspicious because if a person is full of problems it's not a coincidence it's not the universe conspiring against them but rather the person sabotaging themselves every day they probably make more bad decisions don't learn from their mistakes and probably don't control their own emotion so i advise you to be cautious of this type of individual because if you sympathize with their sad and difficult story to the point of always wanting to help their problem can quickly become your problem the seventh type is people who pretend to listen to what you say pretend to listen in situations where people pretend to listen stoicism would advise us to be assertive and if necessary distance ourselves from conversations that do not enrich us you know that type of person who when you say something and try to share an idea responds with a simple yes i understand and nothing more this can be annoying and even disrespectful the worst is when the person talks about what they want and when it's your turn to speak they simply pretend to listen get distracted with their phone or agree without really caring about what you're saying in other words they heard you but they're not really listening to you let's be honest minimum requirement the minimum requirement in a conversation is that the person pays attention to what you're saying otherwise it's not a conversation so if one day you're talking to someone and realize that the person is not paying attention or worse starts using their phone while you're talking clearly showing that they're not listening to what you're saying then simply stop talking it's not worth talking to walls if the person is not paying attention or is just pretending then don't waste your time if that's the case stand up and say you're leaving i after all you're not obligated to spend your time with people who aren't interested in what you're saying in summary analyzing the different types of people who can undermine trust provides us with valuable lessons in the quest for more authentic and meaningful relationships by incorporating historical teachings we learn to maintain our inner peace cultivate virtue practice authenticity and exercise self-control in challenging situations that's all for today we've reached the end of this video and i sincerely hope that these tips are of great use to you don't forget that you are a crucial part of this channel so if this video has helped you think or learn something leave a like and a comment so that more people discover the powers of historical wisdom if you don't have anything to comment write i am winner too let me know that you made it to the end and if you haven't already subscribe remember that every small step counts in your personal development process keep moving towards victory thank you very
Much for your attention may everyone be. With the Creator. Foreign.